ladies and gentlemen, we're making history right now. We got the bull, aka John McDessey, on the show today. He's the first mixed martial arts fighter on Boxing Life TV. Congratulations, yeah. man. Thank you're you. making history right now. Thank you. You good? I'm very good. good, good. All right, all right. I heard you rolling with the UFC, you got the big UFC contracts. Yes, you know yes. what I mean? You got a big fight that come up in Vegas, right? Yes, yes. Good, yeah. good, good, good. So how are you preparing for that fight? How do you mentally get ready for that fight? Um, right now, for me, it's all about staying uh, composed and just trusting my uh, my coaches, you know, yeah. have, having a good game plan and, yeah. and working on it. Just keep improving and just keep sharpening, sharpening my skills. Okay, okay, cool. Now, as you know, you're on Boxing Life TV. Yeah. Tell us the importance of boxing in mixed martial arts sport. Yeah. Well, number one, I'm a big fan of boxing. Okay, I, nice. I was looked up to boxing and uh, boxing is, is very uh, it's very essential, you know, and uh, especially in, in a fighting, in a competitive sport. Uh, I, I applied boxing in, in my in my style. Uh, and in, in the UFC, I have one of the best uh, striking uh, boxing in my hands. Okay, nice. So that being said, uh, I'm always working my boxing, always trying to uh, improve my my boxing, my footwork, and my, my offense and my defense. So uh, yeah, boxing is very important for me. Who's one of your favorite boxers? Uh, top of my head, there's, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of great boxers out there. You know, okay. it, it, it all depends. You know, I, it all depends on styles. You know what I mean? Uh, it all depends, but at the top of my head, of course, I was always a big fan of you know Mike Tyson and uh, of course and uh, you know, Iron Mike, Mike Tyson, um, Sugar Ray Robinson, of Jake course. Lamira, yeah, yeah. Willie the Pep, uh, Jack Dempsey. Okay, you go course, way back. Of course, Floyd Mayweather is right. He's a, he's a money man. The smart, you know I mean? smartest. I have to give him. He's a very smart businessman. He's a businessman. Yeah. He's a businessman, Floyd. Yeah. He's one of the smartest in, in, the, in the ring. I have to give him that much. Sure, sure, yeah, sure very sure. smart. So talk to us, talk to us a little about the mixed martial arts and the different styles that are applied in that sport. Yeah, well, basically, what, what it, me, I always believed in that mixed martial arts is the, the hardest sport to, for that being said because it's a combination of multiple skills. Yes, you need to you need to you have to master multiple skills, okay. and it takes a whole lifetime just to master one skill. So this is where complicity comes into mixed martial arts. You know, okay. you know everybody has their own. Everybody has their own specialties. Everybody has their own strengths and weakness. Okay. My foundation is Taekwondo. Yes. I, I came. I came from a Taekwondo background. Okay. So what I, I I try to evolve from that foundation and keep growing, keep adding different tools. You know. So so what I try to do is kind of figure out what works best for me. Okay. And focus on my strengths and and always develop. On, on, on that, you know, so, you know, from Taekwondo, I, I, I branched out to karate, right. Shotokan, point sparring, the explosive in and out movement. Mm -hmm. Then from there, I, I branched out to American kickboxing, okay. where I started to develop more of my hands. I started to utilize more of my hands with my kicking, okay. and mixing it up together. Then I started to learn the whole, the grappling. So you gotta be versatile. So, yeah, I mean, it's, cause there's so many, there's so much into it. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a whole life of dedication, cause, and it's always, there's always something to learn. There's, always, there's so many techniques, there's so many ways to, to improve, so it's, uh, it's, it's constantly evolution. But I also realized my mistake was I was focusing too much on doing too many things. Okay. A lot of athletes, where they can get in the downfall is you, you kind of forget, you lose track on what you do best, and, and, you, and you have to kind of simplify stuff. So. After eight years of being being a professional fighter, I did a lot of mistakes, yes, and now I'm, mistakes. I'm learning to simplify stuff and try to just find what, what works best for me, so I can channel it in the in the fight. Okay. Now talk to us about the the whole team ball. Yeah. Well, basically, you know, my goal is to surround myself with guys who have, who have good chemistry, good okay. understanding. We're on the same page. Okay. You know, and uh, I also have a vision. You know, I, I'm not just a I'm not just a, a fighter where where I'm, I'm very. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm different in the sense of, you know, I'm, I'm so, I always think a lot, I'm always reassessing myself and, and I, need, I need to work with guys who are going to let me be myself, not try to control me. So I'm working with different guys, uh, you know, in different uh, departments, boxing, striking, the ground game, wrestling, and, and just having a good family oriented gym. You know, I, I train out of Thailand, Montreal. Alan Hughes, my head coach, and you know he he, he assembled a great team. You know, uh, my friend Maz, uh, you know, also he's a, he helps me from the back end, helps me nice. from most me. He's an organizer. He's a, he, yeah, he helps. Make sure it's structured. Yes, yes, yes. He makes sure you're on time for interviews. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So I'm just I'm very blessed and grateful to be around good guys because I, I I need a good support team. And I always had a good support team, but it's always you know it, it's it's a constant uh, learning experience. Mm -hmm. So. Do you feel grateful to be part of UFC? How important is the branding and UFC for a guy like you in your career? 
Well, I mean, UFC is, is uh, it, it's allowing me to train full time. It's, right. I mean, it's allowing me to, to live where to live my life as a professional fighter. And this is how I make my living. And also, no, UFC is, is, a, is a big. It's, it's one of the biggest promotions in the world. It's it's world world known, and, right. uh, and it's a prestigious. It's one of the best of the, the top fighters fight in the UFC. So I mean, of course, I'm very grateful to to be uh, you know in, in that type of organization. Remember, people, it's going down July seventh, fight night. Vegas, big lights. How do you prepare for this guy, Menzi Baghdad? How do you prepare for him? Do you study his tapes? Like, what do you do to prepare for that? Well, at, at the end of the day, um, you know, of course, I'm, I'm very aware of who I'm fighting. You know, saying, so, of course, it's no, it's no secret. You know, but I also I try not to focus too much on what he's gonna do. Okay. I focus on my game plan, okay. and uh, I let I let my training, I let my preparation. You know, speak for itself. So, so what's the daily routine like? Like, you got a couple weeks left. Like, what's the daily routine for a fight like that? Like, do you train extra days or? Well, right now, right now, it's just staying sharp, okay. staying sharp, and, uh, and just going through a lot of drilling, a lot of drilling, staying healthy, and just, and just, you know, I go day by day. I just focus on throwing your fear. I, the closer the fight comes, the, the more I, it becomes more of like a tunnel vision. I just go throwing your fear at a time. Okay. There's no, there's no reason to focus too ahead of myself. Okay. You know what I mean? I, I know who I'm gonna fight. Uh, I'm prepared. I'm prepared for him. I'm prepared for him, and, and I'm not really worried too much of, of, of the fight. I focus on the process. The outcome will take care of itself. What do you do to, to take your craft to the next level? What do you need to do? For me, it's always about personal growth. Okay. For me, it's always about just being consistent and, and dedicating myself to, to my discipline and, and, and always trying to become better. You know, that's that's all I can do. So my goal is focus on my attitude and my effort, and everything else takes takes its place. If you had a twin and a twin was talking to you and said, what do you need to do to improve yourself? Yeah, what would be that? What would be the biggest improvement that you need to do? I think this is, I think this is, a, this is a question that everybody is, a, it's, a, it's a question that everybody asks. You know, what I, you know, I, this is a, that's the beauty, that's the beauty thing about, the beautiful thing about life, you know. You, you can only go day by day and try to become better individuals, 1% better each day, that's all I can do, is try to become better each day and learn from my mistakes. Jean St. Pierre, he's talking about making a comeback. Should he, should he? I mean, I think that's up to him, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I, I, as an athlete, I respect him, he's, he's a, you know, he's a legend and, you know, he did great things. Uh, yeah, I look up to him, uh, you know, as a, as a fighter and everything, and, you know, it's up to him, at the end, you know, everybody has their own choices, you know. What goes through your mind when you're walking? Towards the cage, the music's playing, the lights. You're in Vegas. What goes through your mind? What do you do? Do you, do you see the crowd, or are you just it's this real tunnel vision? Well, yeah. The goal is not to get distracted. Okay. The goal is to stay focused. The goal is to I just focus on my breathing and I just try to not uh, overthink things and just stay calm. You still get butterflies? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I always get nervous. Oh yeah. yeah okay. It's a part of human. Okay. But part of me being human. Yeah. So when you're in the locker room, is there a particular like artist or music you're listening to or song to get you hyped up? I mean, for, for me, it's not actually it's the opposite because I'm already naturally always hyped up. Okay. I need to calm myself down because I'm hyperactive. You know, I have, okay. I have a lot of energy. So my goal is to try to just to not overthink stuff and, and not over you know um, carry myself. You know, just try to relax and just go with the flow. What do you do to relax on your past time? Like, what do you do? Yeah. Well, for me, it's always I spend time with my family. Okay. Uh, I need some, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very simple guy, okay. you know, I'm a very simple guy, just, you know, I, I, I rest my body, I do, I try to rest my body, you know, try, try, train twice a day, so, you know, I have a strict meal plan, and I just try to just relax my body, and just, uh, you know, twice a day, man, that's yeah. tough, like, we do, like, early morning and late afternoon, like, I do, late, no, early afternoons and late, late at night, yeah. because I fight at night time, so I try to peak for night time, okay, yeah. and, and plus it's the biggest time, so it's four hours, Difference. Okay, and at the training, what's the difference between training in the afternoon and the evening? Okay. The every day I have a goal. Every day is a different type of training. Every day is a, it's a specific. On, on it's a, I have a situational training. Of if it's a, if it's a stand up, if it's a on the ground, if it's a wrestling, if it's a, my my conditioning endurance. You know, it's, it all depends on what that day I'm focusing on. You know? Now a lot of people they watch the UFC, they see the lights, the glam, they want to get into the sport. What does it take? What kind of dedication does it take to get into that sport? Like the young people who are watching right now and want to get into the sport. Like talk to them, talk to them, let them know what they need to do to get into it. 
and how serious they gotta be. That they gotta be focused. You gotta be yeah. focused. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of hard work and dedication. You know, there is no secret to success. It's consistency and uh, believing in yourself. And, and no matter how many times you you, you fail or you, or you feel like you want to give up, you gotta keep trying. All right. All right. I want to thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Very Let much. people know your social media information. Yeah. So basically, John John McDessie, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You know, you hit me up, John McDessie. July 7th, UFC, big lights, Vegas, scroll down my man right here, check him out.